Hey guys, welcome back to another video in the Django Foundation series. In this video, we are going to learn how to create a base.html foundation template based on top of which every other template can be built and uh, make our templates pretty, whatever we've been writing so far. To get started, we have to first understand what we are trying to do, right? So if you've seen a lot of websites, uh, you would have understood that uh, most of the website have a certain set of things that is common to the entire application, right? For example, the navbar, the footer, the entire theme, the color scheme, uh, and all of this. So essentially following the dry principle, Django lets us write a base foundation template on top of which every other component can be embedded into, right? So to save time, what we essentially do is we style and add a CSS file to one template, only add the data part into the component uh, templates that we're gonna write and then plug them right into it. So to get started, let's go to our templates folder that we have and uh, start by creating a new file called base.html. So with base.html, we are going to essentially define a template which is going to become the parent for all the other components that are there in our uh, uh, project. So let's create a HTML template. I'm going to say head. In my head, I'm going to define title. And uh, now we are going to use CSS template to essentially add styling to do this. So I'm going to use already styled themes from uh, bootswatch.com. So bootswatch.com is basically a set of themes that have been built on top of the uh, bootstrap theme and it gives us like kind of really pretty themes. So what we can do is uh, you can pick whatever you like. Uh, for right now, I'm going to probably pick, uh, let's say I like dark themes. So I'm going to pick slate. So I'm going to go to slate, right click, download. And on the bootstrap.mean.css, I'm going to right click and copy link address. So this is going to give me the source address for that. I'm going to add the link here. Uh, so this should add the entire bootstrap theme to my base.html. Now I'm going to add the body to this. So I'm going to say body. And in the body, I want first to have a nav uh, that is part of my uh, all templates. So I'm going to go to getbootstrap.com and copy the navbar, the simplest version of the navbar and add it to my uh, template. So let's go to components, go to navbar. So you have a couple of types of navbars in Bootstrap. So I'm going to pick the simplest one where you can just plug in A tags like this. So I'll copy this entirely and go and paste it here. And I can just get rid of the access access ones. So I'm going to say here home, all posts. So I think what else do we have? Yeah. So the edit post and create post page uh, also I'll add. So I'm going to say create new post and let's link it. So create is at slash create all posts are at slash all posts and uh, uh, home is basically in the root domain. So right, so we've added a bunch of links. So now below this navbar is where all my content is going to be. So I'm going to just add a couple of break tags and then I'm going to plug all my entire content here. So the way Jinja template or essentially Django template works is that you can define a block that can be later filled in with some other component uh, that we have defined in our templates. So to do that, I'll have to essentially define a block. Block is a logical statement. So I'm going to say block body and uh, do end block. So what this represents in Django templating is this is like fill in the blanks, like how we do exercises in our school. So this fill in the blanks is going to get filled in with the same block name uh, in some other page. So to give you an example, so now I'll just go to my all post page and I'm going to get rid of everything else that is there in this page, right? Apart from the main component. So which is this container, which is what we want to get plugged into that page. So here I'm first going to say that this template actually extends base.html. So this is how we say that I want to actually plug this container into the base.html. And I also need to tell where I need to plug this component in base.html. To do that, I first have to use the bold block body that I copy pasted and then wrap the component around with the block logical statement. So by doing this, essentially what this is going to do, let us do is uh, this is going to plug this entire thing wherever block body is going to be encountered in base.html. So I'm going to save this one. Now let me just quickly open the terminal and uh, run the server. So we have the server running. Let's go to the browser and I'm now going to essentially visit 
127 dot basically all post page great so you can see that the navbar has now come from the bootswatch theme that i picked and changing bootstrap themes is pretty easy so now let's say i want to use superhero so i can go to base.html and just change this name slate to superhero it should change the theme to superhero and i think if you want to make this dark navbar we have to make this navbar dark and bg dark and let's see how this goes yep so it's changed it so you can do a bunch of things exciting things like this and you have to importantly understand that this is all post page and if i go to my views.py all i am essentially returning in my all post page is all post.html which is this where i have written no html that is actually rendering all of this right all of this is actually in my base.html so my base.html is going to be the scaffold for my entire project and now you can extend all of the other templates similarly. So now let me just quickly go and do that. I just need this block body and the other statement here, which is this extends thing. And uh, let me just quickly copy this and now go to create post as well in create post. Again, I'm going to clear everything apart from the main thing that I need. And at the top, I'm going to import that extends and bottom i'm going to do end block so great so now if i go to create new post you can see that the same theme is applied then i have edit post and similarly i can get rid of everything else paste this and uh, again end block so now if i actually go to all posts open a post and click edit it should actually come to the edit post page which is great which is as expected now similarly i'll go to the post page again get rid of everything else from this page and now wrap this in that block body and do end block also if i'm going to do this is not going to get centered like all the other pages so if let me show you it's not going to be centered that's because we haven't added a div dot container uh, based on bootstrap so for all the people who have done bootstrap this should be obvious as to what container does container simply adds some padding and margin on left and right and this brings it to the center great so we've done this now we also want to convert this back to catalog delete edit into buttons so let me just add a class to this which is like let's call this a danger button which is going to be the delete so button uh, button md and button danger so danger essentially is a red button in bootstrap so and edit i'm going to make it a green button or a blue one so blue one is a primary button so button button md and button primary we got oh okay in this theme it seems to be orange which is great uh, however, we've got all of the information for uh, each of these things. So now I can delete a post, edit a post, go back to the block catalog as well from this link. So we can essentially go on prettifying our theme, which is going to make this really great. So I can go back to catalog. Great. So now in my all post page, I'm going to reduce title size to H3. Doesn't seem as big. So now we're in a good place where we're actually like having a, a basic template around which we can work. I'm also going to slightly add a container in my nav. So my container is also centered. So what this is going to do is this is going to center all the con uh, contents of the nav bar, which is left aligned right now to kind of center it here, right? And I can do this as ml auto to make this right aligned so now my entire navbar is right aligned my posts are here you can go to the post look at the post and back to catalog and stuff like that so i hope you've understood in this how to actually create a template pick a theme from bootswatch and then make your templates pretty